Hello, this is Moo Moo Granny Jolene. This is another episode, I suppose. And today, I've, I've had a lot of calls for some from people to want me to make chicken and dumplings. So that's what I've done, and I'm going to show you what I did and how to make the dumplings. This is, I've already cooked the, the chicken, and I used eight thighs. I leave all the skin on it because that makes the broth rich. It may be too rich for some people, but anyway, and I put uh, the eight thighs, I covered it real good in water, and then as uh, when it got almost done, I added a little bit more water because you need plenty of broth to make the dumplings because they, they will soak up everything. I'm taking the, the chicken out right now, and then uh, we'll make the dumplings and put them in this broth. This is rich stuff. I can just eat dumplings whether I've got any meat or not because they've got the flavor of that broth in there. Okay, we're gonna put this back on the stove uh, while the dumplings, while I'm making the dumplings and let that get to boiling. Okay, I'm gonna make the dumplings and we're using all purpose flour. You don't want them to swell up. So there's, I'm gonna use three cups of flour. Maybe too many, but I'm gonna make some English peas and dumplings later so I can do that. Okay, there's the three cups of flour. And I will just use a little bit of oil. First of all, we'll put about a teaspoon of salt. Probably, I mean, not much. My mother, she said, don't use much grease in them. So actually, two tablespoons is plenty. Then, I use ice water. The colder you can keep the dough, the better it works. So we're gonna put the ice water in there. And I just, I don't have a measured amount. I'll just stir up and see how this does. And if I need more, I'll add more. And just a little bit more. And I'm almost gonna take that two cups. stirred up good and I'm going to flour this mat really good you wouldn't want to leave a lot of flour on on biscuits or rolls but the flour I always like to have extra flour on the dumplings and that will thicken the broth so we're going to use about half of this right now and I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator so it'll stay cold and be good to work with Load flour to it. And this can kind of be a tough dough. You, 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 you want it tough enough that it doesn't fall all the pieces when you get the get it in the broth. About 
done. When I make dumplings, if I hadn't got flour all over the kitchen, I'm in a mess. I use, I make a mess. Okay. That's half the fun in cooking. <laughs> this is my grandson. I have a photographer tonight. Praise the Lord. All right. And we're going to start rolling, and I start turning them every, every little bit so they don't stick to the mat. If you start in the middle of the dough, it's a little bit easier. I asked my daughter the other day, which is, this is Trey filming, and it's his mom. And I said, what's your favorite thing I cook? And she said, chicken and dumplings. <laughs> so uh, she'll probably get some of these. Just keep rolling till I get just as thin as you can get them. And I may have to work off one end and then um, uh, roll out the other end some more. To each his own, they say. There's a lot of people like the drop dumplings, but the only way I need to drop dumplings is that I've dropped it in the floor. I don't um, like the drop dumplings. <laughs> They're too doughy. But now a lot of people, there's probably more to do the drop dumplings than they do this because it's hard to do. Go ahead and turn it off, Trey, and I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to cut these with a uh, pizza cutter. And uh, uh, these, this on the outside, I'm going to have to re-roll because it's not thin enough. But I'm getting the thin ones made. Those. How thin does the noodles need to be? Just as thin as I can get them, which sometimes the dough is more cooperative than it is others. Mm. Okay, now we're going to take these and they can wrinkle, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to put them in the broth. And the broth is a rolling boil right now. You drop them one at a time because then they'll go together if you don't. You'll see I've got all this flour on them, and that's going to make the broth thicker. But you need to leave quite a bit of broth in, uh, in the dumplings because they will definitely soak up a lot of broth. They smell good, or the broth does. It really does. I wish y'all could smell through the phone. <laughs> Come on here, 
See the richness in this, that, that, that yellow broth. Now, uh, you can you can skim that off, you know, let it set and it'll rise to the top. And I'm gonna roll these other two pieces out that were too um, thick a while ago. Whoop, need more flour. They don't need to be sticky. Nope. <laughs> I've always wondered how these guys throw that pizza crust up in the air. I'd have it <laughs> look like Casper the Ghost because then that's where it'd wind up around me. <laughs> Get stuck on the ceiling. Yep. Okay, we're gonna cut these. There's no particular size. Whatever you want. That's why it's okay if you accidentally cut when they're overlapping each other. Mm -hmm. True. stir these just so they um, don't stick together. Got one more piece over here and then we'll get some more out of Try to see if you can get up there and show them how thin that is. Very, very thin. I sure am enjoying his help today. It's very thin. Okay, good. All right, now we'll get this with a pizza cutter. And I hear gun smoke in the background. <laughs> Grandpa's listening to that. <laughs> oh. All right. We're getting this. It's better than that tacky music that most people put behind <laughs> those cooking videos. All right, now then, we'll get the rest of it out of the refrigerator. at a time because it's I want it clean. It goes from dry uh -huh. to wet to really wet <laughs> then, then to dry. less wet. <laughs> yeah but that's what I mean just keep rolling I mean keep kneading it to grab that flour up in it and uh, it's just like making regular bread almost. Yeah. I think I can make these better than I can regular bread. All right, now then, we're gonna start on this thing again. Are the dumplings over there in the stove? Yes. Okay. I 
gonna put some more flour on that. Mm -hmm. Well, I've already got a half a package on it. And the rest of it's on the cabinet. Trey's fault. <laughs> no, I tease him. He's a pretty good boy. What grade are you going to be going into this year? Seventh. All right. I'm almost done with middle school. Almost. And then into high school. And then college. And then you work until you die. <laughs> And he's a great singer. He likes, uh, they have a, a, a theater close by that uh, they do shows. And he's been in Shrek and the Addams Family and uh, what's the other one? Aladdin. He was genie of the lamp in that one. And uh, he sings and acts too. So, all right, now then we're going to go again. See how thick that's getting? You know, it's it's getting um, not thin anymore. If something happened, you made these at like tonight, and we're gonna cook them the, the next day or reheat them. If they're too thick, you can add uh, some chicken broth, just the bulk kind. If you don't have any more of this. And, um, or I guess in desperate times you could use water, but the, you don't want it to lose the richness. Alright, we got one more batch. One more, people. Alright, now. I had made these one night a few years ago and I always put pepper in them right at the end after they after I get them cooking and I had the wrong spout open on the pepper oh I made the biggest mess I ruined them I ruined them I mean it, it, there was probably two tablespoons went in there but I was really gonna shake that pepper <laughs> so uh, you live and learn Question for those that might not know, can broth burn? Um, well, you can let it boil dry and then you'd have the fat. Now those dumplings can burn, for sure. That's why I'm trying to take care of them and don't forget to kind of turn them over every, every little bit and that way they don't stick. This is a a biscuit mat I have had for years and uh, I scrape the flour off <clears throat> I don't wash it every time I use it I put it in a ziplock and put it in the freezer and then uh, I, whenever I need it I've got it I guess they still make them I don't know it's been so long since I bought this one And we're gonna have another big bunch of them. I tell you, these go further than you think. Looking good. 
don't miss those are too thick. broth left and I'll have to put some um, well actually I have some frozen broth I never throw real broth away so I can add a, a package of it tomorrow if I'm uh, needing, needing them I used to just throw stuff away like that but it's best not to because I'm always needing it for something usually I cook 10 pounds it's those thighs and legs. I cook 10 pounds of them, and uh, I have a great big stew pot that I cook them in. And then I take all the meat off the bone, and I fix three containers. One for dumplings, one for chicken soup, and one for chicken and dressing, and I put it in the freezer. And then I've got it whenever I want it. It saves cooking such a, so many times. I can get it all cooked in one time. Sometimes it'll make four or five making. Well, I think I do make, make about five different containers full. Those legs and thighs have a lot of. Um, that, I guess. need to cook together about probably 10 more minutes and when they get done oh then we have the pepper tray pepper uh -huh. right there no that's cinnamon <laughs> i don't think that would be too good on chicken and dumplings <laughs> well, they, okay i made sure i had the right thing open yeah, it would have been a disaster. Now, I salted the chicken when I cooked it. So, uh, the dumplings, though, may need just a little bit more. I'm going to put just about a half a teaspoon. Okay. for tomorrow, but I got a feeling there's going to be a mouse into them before bedtime. Turn the stove off? No, turn the camera Well, like I said, several had wanted me to make uh, chicken and dumplings, so there they are, and um, I hope if you make them, you enjoy them, and uh, they're, worth, they're worth the effort that you go through. So, I'd like to say be safe and be blessed. Bye. This is my sweetie, Trey. Trey, Trey. <laughs> and uh, he's usually here when I need him here. And uh, I try to if I'm not busy. Yeah. And uh, I love him. And uh, I think he did a real good job. If you think so, put it in the comments. So bye. Uh, here's the finished product um, There was the eight thighs and of course I cooked them with the skin on but now I've taken the skin off and I'll put this Just like this after it cools down in the refrigerator and then we'll have Dumplings tomorrow and there's just a little of them. Of course. I don't have any meat in that but um, um, Trey and I are gonna entertain you for just a second You'll have to switch it because I want you on I always uh, picked Trey up from babysitter and school when I could. And one day he was about two and a half years old. 
And uh, I don't know, I was just making it up. I said, I love you, Trey, Trey, Trey. I love you, Trey, Trey, Trey. I love you. Trey, Trey, Trey. <laughs> when he got in like that, I had no idea he was going to chime in, but it was cute. Mm -hmm. So that was for your entertainment purposes. Something that was not for your entertainment purposes was the news in the background. I did not realize that it was that loud because my husband thinks he has to watch the news every time it comes on, and I'll try to do better next time. So thanks again.